savvy. Have you ever been warned not to wear hot pink pants on a Sunday or been told that flushing a toilet after 10 p.m. could land you in trouble? Welcome to the bizarre world of international laws where the ordinary can sometimes lead to the extraordinary. This video delves into some of the most peculiar laws from around the globe, showcasing how cultural nuances shape legal systems in ways that can seem downright whimsical to outsiders. From Australia to Egypt, each country has its own set of rules that can make savvy travelers scratch their heads in bewilderment. These laws, whether they stem from historical incidents, cultural beliefs, or environmental concerns, often have more serious implications than we might assume at first glance. In this exploration, we'll uncover the strange yet significant nature of each law and what it reveals about the cultural fabric of the nation. So buckle up and prepare for a tour of the world's most unusual legal landscapes. Whether these laws make you laugh or ponder the complexities of cultural diversity, they surely provide a unique window into the values and priorities of societies across the globe. In the Australian state of Victoria, there's a law that might make fashion enthusiasts pause. It's illegal to wear hot pink pants after midday on a Sunday. While it sounds like a prank, this law actually exists, though it's rarely enforced today. Originally, it was meant to prevent people from startling horses during church hours. The law reflects a time when societal norms were tightly regulated, and anything that could disrupt the solemnity of Sunday services was frowned upon. Today, while you might not actually get fined for sporting your vibrant trousers, the law remains on the books, a quirky reminder of days gone by. It serves as a humorous example of how specific legal stipulations can become outdated, yet linger in the legal framework, turning into urban myths that entertain and bemuse. For the fashion savvy, it's a law that invites a chuckle at the thought of police officers policing the colors of one's attire. Moreover, this peculiar regulation highlights the cultural emphasis Australians historically placed on maintaining decorum and order. It's a testament to the country's evolving social landscape, where laws once deemed essential can now serve as lighthearted anecdotes in discussions about cultural change and legal eccentricities. In Thailand, it's reportedly illegal to leave your home if you are not wearing underwear. This law might sound like it's straight out of a comedy sketch, but it underscores a serious concern for public decency and hygiene. Thailand, with its rich cultural tapestry and deep-rooted traditions, often emphasizes modesty and propriety in public settings, making such a law less surprising to locals than to foreigners. The enforcement of this law is naturally complicated and not a common sight. However, it serves as a cultural marker, distinguishing what is considered acceptable public decorum in Thailand. Tourists might find this rule perplexing, but it's a stark reminder of the importance of familiarizing oneself with local customs and regulations to avoid cultural faux pas. This underwear mandate could be seen as part of a broader effort to maintain a certain standard of public decency that resonates with the country's conservative values. For the savvy traveler, it's a peculiar piece of knowledge that adds to the colorful mosaic of do's and don'ts one must navigate when exploring foreign lands. It's not just about the law, it's about understanding and respecting the cultural ethos that the law seeks to preserve. Switzerland, known for its tranquility and order, takes the peace of its nighttime very seriously. So seriously, in fact, that in some apartment buildings, it is illegal to flush the toilet after 10 p.m. if the noise disturbs your neighbors. This law highlights the Swiss priority on respecting communal living spaces and the comfort of others. It reflects a broader cultural appreciation for privacy, quiet, and mutual respect among residents. The implementation of such a rule might seem extreme, but it underscores the lengths to which Swiss culture goes to ensure that communal life is harmonious. For someone not accustomed to such stringent norms, it could be a source of amusement or annoyance. However, for the Swiss, it is a matter of common courtesy to maintain a certain decorum during the night hours. This peculiar regulation not only keeps the peace, but also fosters a sense of responsibility towards one's neighbors. It's a law that serves as a reminder of the importance of consideration in close-knit communities. While to outsiders it might appear overly cautious, it is a vivid example of how cultural values are deeply embedded in the legal system, influencing everyday life in Switzerland. 
Imagine a place where it's illegal to die. Sounds absurd, right? Yet in the small Italian town of Falciano del Massico, it is technically illegal to pass away due to the lack of space in the local cemetery. This law was enacted not out of a disregard for the natural cycles of life, but rather as a temporary measure to deal with a very real problem. It highlights the challenges small communities face when growth outpaces infrastructure. While the law is, of course, unenforceable, it serves as a poignant reminder of the issues that small towns face, drawing attention in a rather dramatic fashion. It's a legal oddity that brings to light the practical challenges of managing community resources, even in death. For locals, it's a bizarre but serious call to action to address infrastructural needs. This regulation, while highlighting a specific local issue, also sheds light on the Italian approach to community problems, sometimes with a touch of humor and drama. It's an example of how laws, even the most unusual ones, can reflect deeper societal and logistical challenges. For visitors, it's a curious case that underscores the complexities of small town governance in Italy, blending the serious with the surreal. In the United Arab Emirates, public displays of affection are not just frowned upon, they are illegal. This law aligns with the conservative cultural norms prevalent in many parts of the Middle East, where modesty and restraint in public are highly valued. The regulation is particularly important for travelers to note, as what might be considered a harmless gesture of affection in one country can be seen as offensive or inappropriate in another. The enforcement of this law can be strict, with instances of foreigners facing legal consequences for actions as simple as kissing in public. This underscores the importance of understanding and respecting the cultural and legal boundaries of the country you are visiting. For tourists, this can be one of the most unexpected adjustments, but adherence to local customs is essential for a respectful and trouble-free visit. Moreover, this law serves as a broader reminder of the diversity of social norms across the world. What is commonplace in one culture can be taboo in another. For the culturally savvy traveler, navigating these differences wisely is part of the adventure of exploring new places. It's a vivid example of how deeply cultural values can influence laws and social expectations in different parts of the world. Kenya takes environmental conservation seriously, and one of its bold moves is the law against manufacturing, selling, or carrying plastic bags. This law, one of the world's strictest legislations regarding plastic bags, aims to combat pollution and protect the environment. It reflects Kenya's commitment to sustainability and showcases how laws can be used to foster environmental responsibility. The ban has led to significant changes in how locals and visitors shop and manage waste, promoting the use of reusable bags and other sustainable practices. While it might be an inconvenience for those unaccustomed to such restrictions, it's a powerful statement about the priorities of the Kenyan government and its people. This law is a testament to the fact that with stringent measures and community cooperation, significant environmental improvements can be achieved. This proactive approach to environmental conservation is a beacon for other nations, demonstrating the potential impact of legislative action on environmental protection. For travelers, it's an impressive and inspiring example of how a nation can implement bold laws to address global environmental challenges. It underscores the importance of being environmentally savvy and adapting to local regulations that aim to preserve the natural beauty and health of a destination. In Connecticut, USA, there's a peculiar law that prohibits the selling of eyeglasses on Sundays. This law, part of the state's blue laws, was originally intended to promote a day of rest and religious observance by limiting commercial activities. While many of these laws have been repealed, some, like the eyeglass restriction, remain on the books, though they are seldom enforced. The existence of such laws provides a glimpse into the historical values and lifestyle of the region, emphasizing a time when Sunday was strictly a day for church and rest. Today, these laws are mostly seen as quaint relics of the past, yet they still manage to surprise those who stumble upon them. For the modern observer, they serve as a reminder of how societal norms evolve and how laws can lag behind these changes. Moreover, this law highlights the quirky side of legislative history in the United States, where diverse states have their unique legal idiosyncrasies. It's a fun fact that adds to the tapestry of American cultural diversity, offering a glimpse into the legislative peculiarities that can exist from one state to another. 
For those interested in the quirks of American law, Connecticut's prohibition on selling eyeglasses on Sundays is a charming example of how cultural and legal landscapes can vary dramatically within a single country. In France, naming your pig Napoleon is against the law. This peculiar statute highlights the enduring sensitivity around the historical figure of Napoleon Bonaparte, reflecting the deep respect and complex feelings that the French hold towards their national history. The law is rarely enforced, but it exists as a symbol of the reverence that the French culture has for preserving the dignity of historical figures. While it may seem humorous to outsiders, this law is a testament to the unique blend of respect, humor, and solemnity with which the French approach their national history. It's a quirky law that invites both amusement and reflection on how history can influence modern legal frameworks. For visitors, it's a reminder of the depth of cultural heritage that pervades French society. Furthermore, this law serves as a conversation starter about how cultures remember and honor their historical figures. It's an example of how legal systems can carry the imprints of a nation's history and cultural values, blending the past with the present in unexpected ways. For those exploring France, it's an amusing anecdote that underscores the importance of understanding and respecting the cultural and historical context of the places they visit. Japan's ban on late night dancing, unless in a licensed venue, was a law that stood for many years, rooted in post-war efforts to regulate moral behavior and public order. The law was part of the Fuejo regulations, which were originally intended to curb prostitution and perceived immorality in nightclubs and dance halls. While this may sound like a plot from a dystopian novel, it reflects the complex relationship between cultural norms, public morality, and legal enforcement in Japan. The law was widely criticized for stifling the country's nightlife and was amended in 2015, allowing dancing until midnight or later, provided venues adhered to certain conditions. This change was a significant shift towards modernizing Japan's legal stance on entertainment and public gatherings, reflecting a broader trend of societal liberalization and acceptance of cultural expression. This historical quirk in Japanese law highlights the balance that societies often must maintain between tradition and modernity, between control and freedom. For visitors, it's a fascinating glimpse into how laws can evolve in response to cultural changes and social pressures. It showcases the dynamic nature of legal systems and the ongoing dialogue within societies about how best to reflect contemporary values while respecting historical contexts. In Egypt, the law prohibits climbing the pyramids. This regulation is in place to protect these ancient monuments, which are not only archaeological treasures but also sacred sites. The preservation of these structures is a priority for the Egyptian government, reflecting a broader commitment to safeguarding cultural heritage and promoting responsible tourism. Violating this law can result in severe penalties, including fines and imprisonment. This strict enforcement underscores the seriousness with which Egypt treats the conservation of its historical sites. For tourists, it's a clear directive to respect and preserve the integrity of these ancient wonders, ensuring they remain intact for future generations to appreciate. Moreover, this law highlights the global importance of protecting cultural heritage sites. It serves as a reminder of the responsibilities that come with accessing world heritage sites emphasizing the need for awareness and respect in interactions with such places. For travelers, it's an invitation to engage with history thoughtfully and respectfully, understanding that their actions can have a lasting impact on these precious sites. As we've journeyed through various countries, exploring some of the most unusual laws around the globe, it's clear that these regulations offer more than just legal boundaries. They provide insights into the cultural, historical, and environmental priorities of societies. Each law, no matter how odd it may seem, carries with it a story of a place and its people, reflecting the complexities of balancing tradition and modernity, communal well-being, and individual freedoms. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. If you've had fun or learned anything, do us a favor like comment, subscribe, share. That stuff really helps out the channel. We really want to know about the savvy adventures you've taken or plan to take in the comments below. Also, you can check out the super links we have in the description for savvy travel gear to help keep you safe on your next journey. Or if you prefer, you could simply buy me a coffee with the QR code on the screen or with the link in the description below. 
we are so grateful for your love and support of the channel. Remember to be kind, be gentle with yourself, and know that you are appreciated. Peace.